everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com. Welcome to Driving with John Chow. I just finished a dot com lunch and right now I'm on the way to pick up Sally from school and then we are going to have a daddy daughter playtime, you know, because honestly that's what the dot com lifestyle is all about time freedom, money freedom, location freedom, and that means freedom to spend time with my family, my daughter, and have fun. It's right now. Ooh, 100 degrees? So it's 100 degrees right now. We're going to the pool. We're going to the pool. Anyway, I want to talk about stability. I get uh, a lot of people ask me about, you know, how do I manage, you know, the unstableness of an, of an internet business? Like, how do I avoid a feast or famine? Because if you look at most businesses, that's how... It works, you know, a lot of time it's feast of famine, you know, good months, bad months, good day, bad day, yeah, Christmas, retail, oh yeah, Christmas, they make all the money, rest of the year they make like, they barely survive, they make all the money in Christmas if you're retail. Okay. And I suppose this is why a lot of people stick to the 9 to 5 job, because even though, you know, their potential is limited, they still have the stability of a bi-weekly or bi of Weekly, bi monthly, uh, they still have the stability of a paycheck every two weeks, every week, or whatever pay period it is. Right? And that stability is very um, desirable. Desirable. And stability in general is desirable. We all like stable environment, not just in money, but also in family. Uh, the stock market loves stability. They hate it when the stock market goes topsy turvy. It's like, ugh. People want you know, stability, constant, moving, progress, forward, that kind of stuff, right? But an online, a business inherently is not, at first, is not very, very stable. In the beginning, businesses are like up, down, up, down, feast of famine. And I want to give you some tips on how to uh, avoid this feast of famine, unstable environment. So I got a couple of tips for you. Uh, the first tip is the key to stability is actually consistency. Consistency. Most affiliate, when they're when they're running, when they're doing affiliate marketing, you know, they're sending traffic to a sales page. Now, th there, there is the key. They're spending money to send traffic to a sales page. If there's no traffic going to a sales page, no one is being exposed to your promotion, and no one's being exposed to your promotion, no one's gonna buy. You don't make any money, right? So when you're doing the way affiliates do it, which is to buy traffic, it basically means to achieve a stable source of income, you always got to be buying traffic 24-7, which some people can do, but most people cannot, right? So when I'm doing promotion, I look at, you know, well, what, what, can, what kind of promotion can I do that's always available 24-7? And that's why I have a blog, because my blog is up for no money. My blog is up 24-7 always on, always available, always promoting. And that opposes to where I only get traffic when I'm spending some money, only get traffic when I'm spending some money, I rather take the always on, right? So that creates a more stable and consistent environment. Stable. The second way of doing it is to, the type of offers you promote, right? Like, where instead of being a typical hit and run marketer, where you're just sending traffic to a sales page and hope they buy something and you never see the customer again, uh, the offers I promote are generally continuity products, uh, membership type product where they pay every single month for it, like Aweber or Lead Pages, uh, ClickFunnel, those kind of stuff. A membership site, services, uh, software as a service, SaaS services, they pay every single month for it and I get a percentage of the bill every single month. So, you know, like I said, over the last 10 plus year blogging, I refer over a thousand people to Aweber and I get 30% of their bill every single month. That creates massive amounts of stability because that money comes in no matter what happens to my site. My blog can go down, I can stop promoting, I can say, I, I can just quit. And those monthly continuity income continues to come in. So I look at promoting those type of product because they help commit, create the stable income 
instead of the feast of famine. And the last tip is basically to stick with it because most, most people quit before they get over the hump. Uh, they find that they'll just do, they'll try it, they didn't make any money, they don't stick around long enough. Or they'll try, you know, like they do, they do on again, off again. It's like same thing, piece of famine. They try blogging for a while, didn't get any traffic, then they quit, they tried this, they tried that, they shiny object chasers. Right? Stick with, stick with it, stick with it. The reason I'm successful today is because I stuck with my blog. I stuck with it for 10 plus years. The reason my YouTube channel is successful is because I stuck with it since I started. I never quit on it. Right? It takes time to build an audience. It takes time to build a customer base. But if you can stick with it long enough, you will eventually build it and that will create the stable income. And if you look at it, getting a job, it's the same way because the first time you get a job, odds are you're on promotion, you're on probation. I mean, very, most companies, when they hire a new employee, they put them on probation, like first 90 days, 120 days, whatever the probation period is. And during that time, you're very, very unstable because at any time, the, they can fire you for any reason because you're on probation, right? So first period, totally unstable because you're trying to, you're on probation. But after that, you're proving yourself, then you become a little more stable, you got steady paycheck, then as you get better in a company, you get promotion, the income goes up, well, internet, Business is the same way. First little while, totally unstable, up and down, traffic, no traffic, that kind of stuff. But you stick with it, build it, consistency, be consistent, promote products that pay a residual, eventually that builds up, and the peaks and valleys that you normally get becomes, gets more smoothed out. Right? It gets more smoothed out, and then you don't have to worry about feast or famine. And I get this, I get, another question I get a lot is, uh, when was the last time you had a zero day? Like, I, I made nothing that day online. Like, when's the last time? And honestly, I cannot answer that question because I cannot remember the last time I had a zero day. I, it was probably, I would say, nine, ten years ago. Yeah. When I, actually, when I first monetized a blog back in September of 2006, the first time I monetized the blog, I believe I never had a zero day since then. Not as, never. There was always been, the dog has always made money. I mean, mind you, something wasn't that much, but never a zero day. It's kind of like uh, interrelated to my, uh, my posting consistency. In my 10 plus years of blogging, I never had a day where I, had, where I never had nothing to post on the blog. It's always been a new, a new blog post on the blog every single day in the blog's history. And as a result of that, I never had a zero day where the blog made no money since I started monetizing it. Right. So that's what you're trying to achieve. Stability, stable income. And uh, that's how you, that's when the dot time lifestyle starts coming in. So hope that helps you guys. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like that. I welcome your feedback. Join the discussion. Uh, like and share my channel. Subscribe to it. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.